Hello and welcome to Rebels Radio Latest Interview. I'm joined by Slough Joint Manager John Underwood. How are you, John? Fine, thanks, John. Yeah, we're reflecting on yesterday's defeat, Boxing Day at home to Chesham, local rivals. Um, how was the game for you? Yeah, disappointed, obviously, with the result. Um, disappointed with how we how we performed, to be honest. I don't think we were we were our normal selves. I thought we. Uh, I don't think it was a lack of effort. Um, you know, poor preparation or anything like that. I just felt that uh, on the day it didn't really happen for us. Yeah. Um, Talking yeah. about preparation, it's always hard. You know, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, it's a bit of a funny time. Obviously, the players have to take good care of themselves, and then Boxing Day, it's a bit of a special atmosphere. Have people had a bit too much turkey? You know, spent a lot of time cooped up with family. Yeah, I think you just have to trust your players. Really, I think I think everybody's used to playing football on, on Boxing Day, and and it's. Uh, I know as a manager at St. Wheels look forward to these games, you know, big local derbies and, uh, you know, I don't think anybody in our, in our side didn't look after themselves. You know, I think players know what's expected of them at this level. Uh, it's the same for both teams. So, uh, yeah, I think I think in the end, the game probably didn't live up to expectations as a, as a spectacle, to be honest. I think uh, generally our, our games are reasonably entertaining. Uh, I don't think that was the case yesterday. I think it was quite a poor game, really. No, and going into the game, you uh, had, a, had a few choices to make in terms of your team selection, perhaps right back and, and right midfield, and then also up front. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, we kept we, we kept the back four as it was last week. Um, obviously, we did concede goals at Paul, but you know we're, we're trying to make as few. We generally try and make as few changes as possible. Um, it's the first time really Jay Dillon was fit properly from his hamstring. Um, but obviously, Nathan Fox did very well last week, so we kept him in. Um, we would have liked to have brought Warren Harris back in on the right side of midfield but he's not quite fit from his calf injury he picked up against Merthyr so it was too soon for him unfortunately so um, yeah we kept Sean on the right of midfield and, and um, uh, Ryan Case at right back um, and we brought Scott Harris straight in up front I mean um, that was Tough on George? Uh, yeah I guess so I mean he came off the bench did well and got the goals at Paul um, to be honest, it was it was more about the kind of game we thought you know we we were up against you know a a, a physical you know, two big strong centre halves physical local derby you know we went with you know we don't really know George we went with what we knew in terms of we knew what we'd get from uh, from Scott Harris um, you know one of them needed to start and one of them was always going to come off the bench and I don't think Scott Harris is what you'd call an an impact sub whereas I think George. You know, younger, livelier. You know, we felt that he could probably have more impact in the last half an hour, and that um, potentially where it was more of a scrap, Scott Harris would be sort of better suited. You know, we felt George might have struggled up against their their big, strong centre halves physically. Yeah, um, and, and it was a scrappy game to start off with, wasn't it? Really, and, it was. and few chances, but you seemed on top first ten or fifteen, and and perhaps could have had a goal. Yeah, we started brightly. I thought. I thought we penned them back in into their half. I thought they struggled to kind of get any rhythm going. Um, a great chance off a corner where Hicksy got on the end of it, ended up the referee strangely giving a, a foul against Charlie who was being pulled to the ground by their centre half, which was a bit bizarre. But uh, yeah, we felt that we had the better opening and um, to be fair, they then came into it. They looked very good on the break particularly. They broke well with pace. Uh, they got some good quality players. I thought um, Pierce and, and Blake looked very lively uh, and caused us some problems, you know, and, and I think they scored at a time when they were probably causing us most problems. Um, disappointing, you know, we we cleared or half cleared the first ball from a corner. It went straight back out to, to Pierce, who delivered it very well. Um, we just lost our marker. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's basics, we, we, you know, it's a frustrating, an individual didn't pick up and, and we find ourselves a goal down. And There wasn't a lot in it first half, I didn't yeah. feel, but, you know, when games are that tight, it can be a, a mistake or a lack of concentration sometimes that can make be the difference and you know we went in one nil down yeah it was a it was a little bit of a bitty game there wasn't much rhythm to it a bit scrappy and a few kind of a, a little bit of afters going on off the ball and things like that what did you say to the boys at half time um we tried to be positive um you know we discussed the the goal and the, the dis, our disappointment at, at that at that goal and the fact that you know, these are the things we have to get right if we want to keep clean sheets and be successful. Um, and then we tried to be really positive. You know, we've come back from behind in numerous games and we felt we had we had goals in us. We always yeah. feel we've got goals in us. Um, we said stay in the game and, and you know, and, and your chances will come and you need to take them. Um, we struggled to get any momentum second half, to be honest. The game got 
really scrappy, you know. Yeah, Probably yeah. as scrappy as any game we've had this season, to be honest. And lots, lots of refereeing decisions coming into play and some inconsistency there. Yeah, I mean, we got we got frustrated by the referee. Um, he, his performance had no impact on the result whatsoever. I've got to say that it's not kind of sour grapes. I think. I think both benches at times got frustrated with him. Uh, yeah, we felt that there was um, a real inconsistency in, in you know when you could be physical and use your body and when you couldn't. You know, Barry Hales did it for them. He, he's done it for years. Um, yet Scott Harris didn't seem to be allowed to, to use his body in the same way. And it just it, it, it as a player, you just kind of want to know where you stand. If it's going to be a ref that doesn't allow that kind of contact, then you you change your game accordingly but when he's letting some go and giving some it, it became frustrating and there were yeah there were some lengthy stoppages and I know he added on probably 7 minutes but um you know to be honest if he added on all that he should have done it could have been 10 or 11 um that was probably our only complaint the game just seemed to be stopped very regularly and and he spent a lot of time talking to players which just breaks up the the momentum we never really got any momentum going that's not just his fault you know that's um you know our performance as well wasn't where it needed to be so uh, i think chesham deserved to edge it if i'm honest i think on another day we could have got a point mm. you know george's fantastic strike from outside the box that's hit the inside of the post and gone across the face of goal you know if, if that's an inch to the left it's it's one of the goals of the season and we get a point and um and we're reasonably happy with that mm. but uh, it wasn't to be yeah, and moving on now, you've got quite a long gap to your next game because of how it falls this year. It's kind of Saturday to Saturday. There isn't that opportunity to bounce straight back with a bank holiday game. Yeah, to be honest, probably not the worst um, situation for us. We, we've got a, a few players playing with a few injuries. Um, you know, Guy Hollis played with the flu yesterday. Uh, one or two others have been kind of playing with bits and pieces. And, and, and you know, to have a, a week now, probably not the, the worst thing for us, actually. Um you know, another tough game coming up. It's been a real tough run of fixtures. You know, mm. we, we if we'd have got a win yesterday, it would have ended up being a fantastic December for us. You know, you've got to remember we've, you know, we've beaten Dunstable. I think that was the end of November. Beaten Dunstable, beaten Biggleswade, we've beaten Merthyr. We've got points against St Neots and Paul. You know, <clears throat> a, a run of fixtures that we looked at before we started the month. And, and you know, to be honest, we were, you know, you, you worry a little bit. You know, what? How many points are you going to get? And I think our total's been pretty good. I think a point yesterday, and we could have been really pleased with our our month. But um, so yeah, I don't. You know, we don't want to get too disappointed by that defeat. We have to move on. Very tough game at Hungerford in a week's time. Um, I think we rest up, and, and you know, we'll, we'll train once between now and then, and then we'll look to look to bounce back at Hungerford. We're never an easy place to go, but um, that's the type of league we're playing, and it's it's a difficult game week in week out. Um, any injuries? Additions yesterday in, in to the squad, or are there, are there any changes due? Well, um, coming up to the next game, obviously um, Ryan Hope's got another game suspended. Um, Eddie's still, you know, we, we we don't expect Eddie until maybe mid January. Um, have to see how he goes in the coming weeks, but um, no reason why Warren shouldn't be fit for next Saturday, um, and and an outside chance with Searsy as well. So um, yeah, we're we're hoping that. You know, we'll have a few more options, you know, then Rummy comes back early in the new year. So, um, yeah, you know, we'll have some decisions to make. We've got decent numbers at the minute. Obviously, we've pulled a few loan players in. Um, we're going to have to just kind of monitor it over the next week or two as to where we end up squad-wise, really, because I think, you know, if we get to that point where everyone's fit and available, we will end up having too many. Um, but, you know, obviously, we've got a few on kind of short-term deals. So, uh, there'll be, you know, plenty of conversations between me and Bakes in the next couple of weeks, and we... Need to just get the balance right in the squad and and hopefully get back to winning ways uh, sooner rather than later. Yeah, a new year, a new start, and uh, potentially a new baby on the way. Uh, yeah, yeah, my wife's uh, due with our, our first baby on uh, on New Year's Eve actually. So uh, any time now, we're we're kind of uh, waiting for that. So to sooner rather than so, later, so you can make it to the Hungerford game. Yeah, I hope so. I wanted, <laughs> wanted to uh, to hang on while uh, while we play Chesham, and then hopefully. Uh, Hopefully the baby arrive in the, in the next few days, so um, fingers crossed. Well, good luck with that, and good luck with the week ahead. We hope to see you at Hungerford Thank with you. a big smile on your face. Let's hope so. And uh, Bags under my eyes. No bags, bags under your eyes. Well, happy Christmas and a, and a happy new year to all. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks John.